We're going to make this a quick one here. There have been some pretty major changes despite this only being a small patch. First off, the main entrances of Mineshaft and Manor will now spawn randomly inside of the main tile. There are obviously set locations for where the main door can spawn, it's just chosen randomly by the day. Next up, coils will enter their recharge phase faster, meaning they don't have to chase you for nearly as long. However, their recharge phase lasts significantly shorter, about half the time it was before. Zeekers also patched having them run at closed doors to force their recharge phase, which actually bumps them up a little in power, I think. The doors were a good counterplay. You cannot drop Baby Man down the mineshaft elevator pit anymore. Seekers added pathing area over it, allowing the man-eater to live another day. Unfortunately with this also came a change to how jester trapping works. Previously you could send the jester up and down despite whether or not it was winding. Now you can only send it up when it is not winding. If it is winding, the jester will now sit at the bottom and pop your teammates. You cannot trap jester solo on mineshaft anymore. Up next, the mineshaft scrap amounts have been fixed. Previously the mineshaft interior was supposed to bring about 6 more items than other interiors. But according to Zeekers, a table prop bug resulted in the low item amounts. This being fixed means that Mineshaft is actually an interior you want over other interiors. The increased scrap amount puts its strength almost at V50 Artifice. Still though, doesn't mean V60 is saved for high quota. The Mineshaft railings next to the elevator also have had their height increased, meaning you cannot normally jump on top of the elevator as easy. It's still really simple to get up though, just jumping on the button gets you right on top without hassle. Following this up, we have a bunch of fixes. Inverse teleporters work properly on Mineshaft. This dead end tile now cannot be walked through and bring you outside the map. Caves now have better AI pathfinding, still not great. And the Man Eater will not have its AI bricked when being hit with a spike trap. Well, sort of. This might just be an Imperium issue, but it seems like killing them with spike traps grows them into adult and then bricks their AI. Again, I assume this is just an Imperium issue and the man eater will just grow up when hit by a spike trap and work properly. A little detail, turrets that are firing now make noise. This won't affect gameplay too greatly, but enemies that can hear like butlers will now know where to wander if you get shot by a turret. Here are the last portion of fixes that I personally never experienced and are minor. Fixed rooms overlapping with the mineshaft entrance, fixed breaker box floating in the air, fixed soccer ball collision in the ship, fixed a visual bug with the man eater, and fixed hoarding bugs getting perma aggro when a man eater eats their scrap. Can imagine how bad that turns out. As well as a big battery drain issue involving spray paint and walkies being fixed. That's all for now. I just had to make sure I updated you guys on this because the changes do affect some strategies I previously mentioned. Good luck out there. Get that quota, and I'll see you in a couple days for V63 probably, because it's Zeekers we're talking about here.